The most decorated naval destroyers of World War II is being lifted out of the water down in Homa today. As Rob Masson reports, the USS Kidd is now in dry dock as dozens of workers prepare for an $11 million addition of new equipment. It's been three months since the USS Kidd was removed from its cradle in Baton Rouge and escorted down the Mississippi River to Homa, where workers perform a painstaking restoration on a piece of World War II history. They say it's America's greatest generation, and it truly is. The sleek 500-foot Fletcher-class destroyer was capable of going 40 miles an hour and saw extensive duty in the Atlantic and the Pacific, where a Japanese kamikaze pilot killed 38 men and wounded 55 in an attack east of Okinawa. I am loving the care and attention that Thomas C. Shipyards is given to our, this ship uh, as my whole staff has a personal investment in this ship, and we all feel that the ship could not be in better hands. The kid has been perched in Baton Rouge for 42 years, resting in a cradle that has damaged the hull. Workers at Thomas C. Marine slowly brought her into a huge dry dock, which lifts the kid out of the water as water is removed from huge dry dock tanks, an operation which took practically all day. You know, we're cutting steel, replacing steel. We're going to Paint it. It's going to be painted to a World War II configuration of camouflage paint, which I think will be pretty neat. Park Stevenson says as part of this retrofit, they will actually be reconfiguring some of the cabin space inside the kid to recognize the contribution of African Americans during World War II. And we are restoring those quarters to their original configuration. And we're partnering with our local African American Museum in Baton Rouge to tell, to develop the narrative so that we can tell the story of African Americans who served in the Navy in World War II. This project, funded by the state, is expected to take five more months as about 50 HOMA workers battle stifling heat to restore a part of naval history. And just think of the, the 17, 18, and 19 year old boys that were grown men who died on that ship, who worked on that ship. With its new camouflage paint job, the USS Kidd may stop off in New Orleans for a couple weeks this spring, where it will be open for tours before it's taken back to Baton Rouge to continue as that city's top tourist destination. From Homa, Rob Masson, Fox 8 Local First.